Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, let me get my... Get him set back up here again. All right, I think that's going to be good. So... I've... Uh, Uh, I've been working on these throughout the summer. Not, not, not as much as uh, I would have liked to, have, but uh, work's been a little bit hectic. So you know, it just is what it is. Sometimes you can get some good practice in, and sometimes you can't. Uh, during the hot part of the summer, I didn't, there was times I didn't even feel like, uh, didn't even feel like going out. Uh, I'd just get home and lay in front of the air conditioner. But, uh, definitely had some, uh, a little bit of help this summer. As a young kid. Uh, named Carter Harvey and uh, me and him played for a full day we done like a four hour lap on Wilson um, it was low and he was in a full slice and, I, and then uh, I was in this and, oh my goodness that kid I was sore in places I didn't even know I could be sore so but definitely spending a day with him it, it helped me a lot. Um, he jumped in this boat, and oh my goodness. He had this thing pure wet and spinning, uh, just everything. We just pulled the bulkhead back a couple notches, and he was good to go. And, and I was like, well, that's how that boat is supposed to be written. But uh, one of the things, and I'll, I'll tell you guys, one of the things that he uh, showed me was when I, when I reached back, to reach back all the way to or past the tail if I can. And sometimes I do and really, I mean, from, from going to the side to going to the back, a, a, a lot more verticality. Um, didn't film any. I had some really good, I went over to the French Broad um, with some friends. I normally don't go to the French Broad, but they got a couple of places really good eddy lines over there and I had this thing completely vertical and I would get it up and, and for a second and either it would fall I would fall back down with it or I would flip over on my head. Uh, so getting it up vertical and then balancing there that's another that's another thing altogether. Don't know if I'll be able to get it completely vertical here today but uh, we're gonna try and uh, this is, you're on the other side of the river from where I normally set the camera. But, uh, got a new GoPro. You saw one of the last videos when we went down Nola Chucky. Uh, so, I'm going to start using the 11 uh, quite a bit more. Still got computer problems. But, oh. Uh, so, normally I don't get this little one right here this little scene, normally don't get it like that, I'm going to today, uh, it's, it's not too bad, it's pretty good.
I'm not going to bore you guys with me rolling over endlessly on my head. Uh, I will say definitely am still loving the firecracker. Uh, I'm going to do a, a long-term review oh, in a few days. Uh, and the, I finally took this thing uh, on the Koei, which is for me bigger water than, than normal, but countless, uh, countless laps down, uh, down Wilson. Uh, I've had it uh, on the upper Nantahala. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the boat is fantastic. Um, I can't remember where else I took it uh, right off bat. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely my 80% boat. I'm uh, trying to, uh, here lately I've been riding uh, a little bit, riding the uh, Jackson Nirvana because I'm wanting to do uh, the Cascades whenever, oh, during gaff. And uh, this boat definitely is so much easier rolling than uh, the Narvana. It's just such an easy boat to roll. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you next time. Bye.